All right, everyone, I am in the small town of Shiner, Texas. The cleanest little city in the state, it proclaims. Maybe one of the greatest as well. Certainly, they love the United States here. You see a lot of flags on the road as you come into town. But the main reason Shiner is awesome is because the greatest beer in the United States is made here. Should we go take a look? Yeah, let's do that. I am in downtown Shiner now. It's a quaint place. That is the Grand Lady of Shiner. The Shiner Opera House. Built in 1895, it has been a gathering place for the city, well, for well over a hundred years, and it is an actual theater now. Shiner was founded by German and Czech immigrants in the late 1800s. They came here to farm, raise cattle, horses, that kind of thing. But being from Germany and the Czech Republic, you know they like dark beer. That's what they drink. When they were here, they couldn't find any good dark beer being made in Texas. So they said to themselves, we'll just make our own. And thus, what is arguably the greatest beer, or at least the greatest dark beer ever produced was created by those immigrants. Shiner Beer. And Shiner Beer is still produced to this day over there. That is the distillery, or the brewery, I guess, should be called. Nicole and I will be visiting it later. But every drop of Shiner Bach is produced there. Now, Shiner started out slow. First, it was produced here and only drank here. But in the 1990s, it exploded and is now available in all 50 states. So wherever you are right now, if you're in the United States, you can go down to the store and get you some Shiner and try it for yourself. If you don't believe me, you'll love it. It's a, it's a dark beer, but it doesn't feel dark. When I first came to Texas in the late 80s, that's when I moved here, I had never heard of it. But I tried one and it immediately became my favorite beer. And it's still one of my favorites to this day. Even as a kid, I didn't like plain yellow beers. My dad drank Miller Lite. And I would always say, God, dad, it's so boring. And I always gravitated to more unusual beers. And Shiner, of course, at the time seemed very unusual. It's mainstream now, it's everywhere, but it's because it's good. Anyways, I wander around here. I'm wanting to show you some sights. Look at this. They have an Amish furniture store. I'd read that there's some Amish here as well. Yeah, there it is. And look here, they have an Amish buggy right out front. That is too cool, isn't it? We'll start with the population of the town. There's about 2,100 people here. In 1960, there were right at 2,000. In 1980, there were 2,200. 2,100 now. So, as you can tell, the town is just kind of hanging around at the same population. Median age is 46, so it is an older town. 54% of the town is female. 87% of this town is white. 5% Hispanic, 5% Black, 3% Mixed. Now is it a poor town? Nope. Median household income in this town is $75,000 a year. That's uh, $1,446 a week. So the brewery pays pretty well. I'm guessing it's the major employer. I would think so. So of course, poverty, it's low, 9% overall. 
Even better, cost of living is low, especially housing. The median home value here is 168,000, which is probably a third of what it is across the US overall. So the people are making pretty good money and they're not having to pay a tremendous amount of money to buy a house. What is crime like in a town like Shiner? Way down here in South Texas. Now here's a map real quick, by the way, to show you where I'm at. Well, I'm happy to report that crime is low. Latest numbers, four incidents per 1,000 people, four. U.S. average is 23. I mean, crime is virtually non-existent. There's uh, 2,100 people here, so there were a total of nine crimes for the latest report. Nine crimes. That's less than one crime a month. If you're a police officer, you don't have much to do here. You might go a whole month and not have a single crime to uh, solve. This is the St. Cyril and Methodius Czech Church. This was built in 1920, Romanesque revival. It is what they call a painted church here in Texas. It's called that because of the unique colors and designs that immigrants from Germany and Czech Republic brought to the design of the church. This sits here on the grounds of the church. A little sign here, let's see what it says. Erected by Strauss Kopecki family in memory of their dead, November 2, 1938. So this has been here for a while. Wow, it's something, isn't it? Here's a closer look. A lot of neat stuff here. Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? I'm inside the church now. There's some people working on it inside here, but they said I could take a look. You can hear them in the background. Yeah, this up here is called Christ in the Garden. That is something, isn't it? Some more beautiful stained glass. Yeah, here is the fire department. Some of you asked me to show you this in town, so there it is. Yeah. That's it, look at the camera, you're about to be famous. <laughs> Pretty cool, cat sighting, yay. Well, driving through the neighborhoods, this is pretty much all I see. Just uh, beautiful homes and streets, beautiful older homes. All in good condition. It's just a really nice town. That is a picture perfect house. So we're going to go into this brewery and see what we can see. It is a beautiful day here in Texas. 
down in the deep south of Texas. It's quite warm. It's yeah, it's eight. Like 80 or something. It's 83 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 28 Celsius. Anyway, so we need to register for this tour. They have two tours. One has more goodies than the other. There's a $25 tour, and you get this bag with a cup and some sunglasses. Of course, the sunglasses are mine since you lost my ray bags. And then the $55 tour, you get this bag, and it's got beer inside it, right? Yes, it does. There's a six pack of shiner. I'm trying to get it open to show you. I like the bag. Yeah, the bag's pretty it's nice. It's a nice insulated bag. And you get some beer. So there you go. As we wait for the tour, I'm going to have myself a half glass of Shiner. Don't feel it too, too hard, like right there. I guess. Okay. I just I'm having the forth, classic it. Shiner, that one right there. You can see all the brands that they have here. And Nicole, you're having the... Uh, Holiday cheer. Holiday cheer. Okay. Cool. Thank you. So anyway, starting the day with some beer. Half Czech, half German, all Texan. A nod to the immigrants that founded this town. Trying on the Shiner sunglasses. Yeah, Nicole's trying on the Shiner sunglasses. What do I look like? You look like you, a girl with sunglasses on. <laughs> Are you sure you're not close enough to see my nose hairs? No, it's not that close. <laughs> I'm just looking at the Shiner thing on the uh, glass there. Oh, okay. Yeah, there all right. All right, our tour begins. Uh, I'm going to have to manhandle the camera and drink my beer at the same time. I think I can do it. I think you can. I can do it. You're a professional drinker. I switched to this holiday cheer. It is really freaking good. Never had it before. But anyway, here we go. As you walk in, they have a statue of Cosmo Spetzel. The guy who came up with the recipe for Shiner. Reportedly, he kept the top secret recipe at all times with him underneath his hat. How awesome is that? So these tanks here, this is where every drop of Shiner comes from. These tanks. So there it is. That's where the magic happens. Shiner getting bottled. That guy is Chippy. Getting kegs ready to be shipped out to bars and getting empties ready to be filled. How awesome, huh? They make moonshine here, so we got some bottles of that. Some more beer. And we are heading to the restaurant that they have. We haven't found it yet, but they have a restaurant here. And uh, we're gonna get some food. Now we got some food from the barbecue place on site. Of course we have some Shiner. And they have uh, brisket and sausage. What was that cucumber salad? Cucumber salad, yeah. And potato, potato salad. salad. That looks like German potato salad, doesn't it? I'm sure it is. And Nicole has her beer. And you're gonna dip your... Yeah, yeah. Because they have a barbecue sauce as well. It better be Shiner barbecue. It's Shiner Barbecue. How's it taste, honey? Mm, I dripped it on my leg. Oh, well, don't drip it on your leg. That's no good. Anyway, yeah, so we're going to... Uh, tastes good, though. Yeah, we're going to dig into this. Okay, cool. That sausage is... It's really good. Mm -hmm. It's not the best I've ever had, but it's really good. Mm, the brisket is amazing. So this nice is, and moist. This is amongst the best brisket I've ever had. And I eat a lot of barbecue. Say, this brisket is here? incredible. Yummy. The sauce is pretty good, the barbecue sauce. There's no spice to it. Mm. A little bit spicier barbecue sauce would be nice. The, they bris don't... the brisket is definitely the high point. Yeah, the brisket's the high point. The mm. sauce is good. It's too bad they don't have a spicy sauce. Mm. Mm, potato salad. Like spicy sauce, huh? Potato salad's really good. And cucumber salad's really good. Mm -hmm. Yes. If you mm. ever come here, have the brisket. Definitely, yeah, definitely have some of their barbecue. And, you know, the trip is totally worth it. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. This is a really good tour. Worth every penny and worth a day trip out here. get three big beers. I couldn't even drink all mine. Yeah, and they give you uh, three beers. Not 
not that's just, included. Not just tiny little tastes like you get on other on the other tours. You get three big beers. Yep, three full beers is included. Can never argue with beer being included. <laughs>